Hi, it's Timothy Eckert here. In this video, I'm going to take a look at Adam, the, the most recent. Hi, Timothy Eckert here. In this video, I'm going to take a look at Adam, at least the most recent version, which uh, we see is 1.60.0, but I'm actually going to look at 1.61 by trying the beta. And the reason I'm doing this is I know a lot of you guys like uh, Vim and Emacs, but Adam was really my first code editor that I started using around 2016 when I started getting into it. So I kind of have a little nostalgia for the editor and I wanted to take a look. So uh, let's download the .deb. I think it should start downloading, maybe. There we go. Uh, and uh, go ahead and install and take a look. I'm gonna just right click to install with Linux. Go ahead and install. And I'll come back once it's installed. Okay, so it went ahead and installed and I'm gonna uh, fire it up. And you'll see normally the atom, um, the color is, is green. This is the beta version though. So you'll see that we have this uh, kind of gold color icon here. And it's taken a moment to start up. It's a little bit slower because I um, am also uh, filming at the same time. So now in the Chromebook, it, it seems to always ask me for a password. Okay, so I'm going to just type that in. And then when I first start up Linux and I start up Adam at the start of the day, it's going to ask me for this password. Um, it's not really a big deal. Uh, but let's see. So I don't want to show the welcome guide. Um, cancel this out, cancel this out. Uh, do I want to send my telemetry data? Maybe because it'll help uh, people know that I'm using Atom sometimes and uh, it helps to get Atom a little bit better. So I'm going to say yes actually to that. And let's expand this and let's open up a folder and let's just create a folder. Let's call it uh, test. Okay. And let's uh, open that folder. I'm going to click OK. And we're going to, I'm just going to go and create some documents here. And we'll see how uh, it goes. All right. So to create a new file, I can just hover over here and just type A. And then let's create a test.markdown file. So, you know, it has some nice syntax highlighting. This is markdown. Uh, I could do a list item here and I can duplicate the line with control shift D so I can just go down and, and do that quickly. Uh, yeah, change this just for some demonstration. I could do control and then the arrow keys to move this around, right? So I can move lines around very easily in Atom. Um, let me do a few more things. Let's do a link to Google here and um, then we'll just type in the Google address. Um, let's actually go to Wikimedia Commons here. Uh, so let's go to Wikimedia Commons and search for the Atom text editor. I'm going to just pull in an image just because I'm going to use the built-in preview because so Atom out of the box does have preview a uh, preview for Markdown and you can do some stuff with it. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, so let's just go to more details here and use this file on the web. I'm just going to take that. Okay. So let's do an image here. Uh, we'll just give the alt text. It's the Atom logo and paste that in there. Save that and let's create one more thing. Let's create a table. So we'll have table heading one, table heading two, just a very small table here. Uh, and and then we'll have table data one, table. I don't have to line these up. 
uh, in Markdown. And then um, I'm just going to type the word ant and then uh, B. I don't know why. Uh, that, that's going to be the data. All right. So if I want to toggle the Markdown preview, uh, first let me toggle off the sidebar here. I'm going to do Control Shift M. And you'll see that the preview comes right up, right? So we have, this is what it would look like with the default dark styling. Now I can right click here and I can right click and say copy as HTML. So let me do that. Let me close this out now and let's open this back up and just highlight this, hit A and we'll do test.html. And what we'll do is we could paste in the HTML that we got right? Or I could maybe undo that, right? But um, let me actually, while I'm here, let me make the text editor a little bit larger for you to see it. So let's make the, let's make this one 18. And let's just check. Yeah, I got a little bit bigger. Okay, so with Atom, um, there is built in um, a little bit built in Emmet support. So if I type HTML here and hit tab, it's going to give me a, a basic structure. So now I can go here and do control V, paste all that in. And we basically now, if we open this up in the browser, uh, so let me go to files, uh, go to Linux files here, go to test. If I open this up in the browser, we see that we've got our HTML page. Now it's got no real styling, but that's okay. So we can really create uh, an HTML page or an HTML blog with Markdown and Atom really quick without installing any additional packages. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, we don't really have, as far as I know, any built-in formatter, but if you go and go to packages, you could, one of the popular ones for Atom is uh, Beautify. So, just type Beautify. I'm not going to install that right now, but you could install, am I spelling this wrong? Beautify. I don't think so. But anyways, there there is a plugin that, or a package that comes up that's just beautify. So there's a lot of ones down here. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing it, but, and you could also easily install, I think prettier. Let's check. Yeah. So prettier Adam, uh, you could install that as well. Um, let's just take a look at this package and see how recently it was updated. Um, So yeah, just a couple months ago. So that one's, yeah, let's, let's try it out. Let's just install it and see how it works. Okay, so that took a little while. So I paused the video, I uh, came back and with Prettier, I think you can do Alt Control F and have it format. Yep, there we go. So that's formatting my HTML. Um, I call this what, sample blog. You notice up here, Adam lets me know that this isn't saved. And then when I save it, that goes away. Um, let's uh, create a little style sheet here. So we can type link and hit tab. And it's going to bring in a style sheet. I'm just going to put it in the same folder. Let's just also call it uh, style.css. So we'll go over here, create a file. Uh, style.css and we'll just do a little bit of styling so body uh, we'll do a max width of, I don't know 600 pixels with a padding of 20 pixels um, go up here and actually we'll do uh, we'll just do box sizing uh, border box there and I can just tab and have this complete which is really nice um, and let's go and bring in some Google fonts. I just want to show you how quickly we can build up a blog with Adam uh, really nicely. So let's go get, uh, let's get Open Sans here. Get rid of Source Code Pro. Um, let's do the regular 
and the bold. Okay, and bring this over here. We're going to pop these links right into the top of uh, the HTML file right above the style sheet here. So just paste those in. Um, again, we want to do our formatting, so we're going to Alt Control F. Okay, and Prettier's formatting that. And then go back here and bring in this font family here. Um, and paste that here. Save that. Let's also make um, images have a max width of 100%. Not sure if that Atom image is a little bit too large. All right, so let's go back and reopen this file. And oh, one more thing. Uh, so the math max width is 600. So what we also have to do is uh, margin left. Uh, we'll do auto and margin. And notice I'm just uh, hitting tab to auto complete here. Okay, and we'll go back here and we'll refresh. And now we've got our little blog post right here. Uh, we could fix up the table with um, some more styling, but yeah. So that's that's a quick way to build a blog in Atom. Um, it's got some nice uh, extensions to it. Uh, it's still running pretty strong. It's not updated as frequently as VS Code, but uh, it is still a popular option. I think I see stuff like, oh, is Atom discontinued? Is it dead? I'm like, no, it gets updated multiple times a year and it's still running great. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a little brief overview of Adam. Give it a shot. Give it a try. It's uh, You might like it. Uh, I have a special place in my heart for Adam because, again, it was really the first serious code editor that I was using back in 2016. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing as it really does help the channel grow. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.